What's up guys, Rich Cosgrove, AKA Whole Hog Dude, here in Argenta at Brood and Barley. We're talking to award-winning chef owner, Brian McFadden. We're talking braised short ribs on today's meat minute. Let's go check it out. What's up, man? What's up, man? How Thanks you for doing, coming. Oh, good to see you being here. Hey, let's, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit. What do you say? Let's do it, man. Man. I, mean, I appreciate you coming in today. Hey, man, glad to be here. I appreciate you making time for me. So tell me a little bit about the restaurant. You got started here in 2020, worst possible time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you won Best New Restaurant, Arkansas Times that year. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, are, are there any awards, awards that you haven't won over the last three years, including Best Chef? <laughs> well, well, you know what the funny thing is? It, so my business partner and I, my cousin, it's like, Listen, we love all those awards, you know? A lot of places get out there and like tell like other employees, hey, vote here, vote there. Right. And we, we try not to do any of that, you know? Like we want, it, we want to win organically is what we sure. want to do, you sure. know? So whatever we get, whatever awards we get is definitely coming from customers or, you know, um, you know best of, whatever it may be. Um, which to me is awesome. We, and, and I'm glad that my cousin and I agreed on that. We try not to like, push it out there for our employees. Sure. But I mean, this town is awesome. This town has embraced us. You know, you know that this town has embraced us and, and it's been awesome. It's been a good, it's been a wild ride so far, uh, <laughs> but it's been a great ride. Um, you know, moving down here, you know, from, I was living outside of Philly before That's I right. came down here. That's right. Know? Yeah. And then, uh, then my cousin called me and was like, Hey, you want to move to Arkansas? So imagine that conversation with my wife, who she was like, <laughs> "Oh boy, what are you talking about?" There was a couple explicits there, you know. She was like, "What the? What are you talking oh, from about?" Oh, Philly? You're talking explicitly? <laughs> no, no. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, but we came down and visited, and as soon as I visited, I was like, I looked at my wife and I was like, "Babe, I like this town. This town is good." And we got two young kids, and at the time they weren't in school. Gotcha. Um, but you know, my cousin showed me the plaza, and at this point, like this place was just. It was an empty shell. Okay. So, you know, then all this stuff is kind of running through your head. Oh, we could put bar here. And obviously my cousin had some ideas, you know, big old wood bar showpiece, you know. And the funny thing I said to him was, I said, hey, man, just so you know, like, I don't, I don't barbecue, you know. And again, <laughs> okay. more explicit, you know, more explicit. And he was like, well, no crap, idiot. I don't want you to come down here and barbecue because you're probably not going to barbecue any better than anybody <laughs> down here in Arkansas. You're in Arkansas, um, which is where the short rib came about. The right. short okay, rib. yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. But what I want to, one thing I do want to say is the award that I'm most impressed with was one that you recently won, and that is Most Creative Menu. And I've always told uh, Nancy, I'm, I don't know how you do it. Your menu is so ambitious. You have so many incredible uh, dishes and uh, you, you do everything yourself. You make your own charcuterie, you make some of your own cheese, mm -hmm. uh, you make your own jam from an old family recipe. We had that True. with our charcuterie board one time. Yeah. Uh, so talk a little bit about that. How do you pull that off? Well, a lot of it, to be honest with you, uh, Rich, is you know. Uh, you know. You know this more than anybody else. I got great people. I mean, I have an amazing staff. So a lot of times I'll get these ideas in my head and then I'll go to Joey, you know, my sous chef, or I'll go to Andrew, you know, who opens up for me in the morning and be like, hey guys, this is what I'm thinking about doing. Let's see what we can do with this. We'll get some product in, we'll fool around with it, might have a couple beers and, you know, kind of take it from there. But the, the idea where we're coming from is I really like, we really enjoy pushing the envelope. Right. It doesn't all work. You know, <laughs> you know that, you know that guess, it doesn't guess, all work, yeah. but you know, we like fooling around well, we got trout. We're going to do some trout this weekend, Nice. but again, we're not going to do smoked trout. We're going to do something different with it, you know? So really it's just playing around and not really um, restricting yourself. And we really get big into when somebody says, no, you can't do that. Cause then that's kind of like, all right. All now you're right. from Philly and that comes out, right? Okay. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit.